everyone, Soulstix here, and welcome back to my channel. I am excited to say I am going to be doing something very special with this series. As you can see, it's the Cory once again. This is my second playthrough. I've had a lot of requests for you guys to have me play through this once again and possibly get a better or different ending. I am excited to say that this is going to be very different, not just a different ending, but I'm actually including a special guest in this video. One of my followers and a good friend of mine, Dan, you've probably heard me shout out to, shout out to him several times. Um, he is the one responsible for getting me into Supermassive Games, and I am very excited to play this. Him and I both play this together. We're going to take turns playing different characters, and I'm really looking forward to this experience. I hope you guys enjoy it too. So without further ado... Let's introduce Dan to you guys. All right, welcome to this special edition of the Cory. I know you guys wanted me to play this again, and today I've got a special guest with me. This is Dan. Say hi, Dan. Hey, how's it going? So we're playing the Cory today. Um, actually, Dan and I thought it would be a great idea to do this because Dan's the one who got me involved in playing super massive games to begin with. So. We're gonna have our own little shout outs. As you know that you follow, uh, those of you who follow my channel, I like to drink stuff. Today I'm drinking my personal favorite. This is Citrus Twists, my famous invisible drink. What you got, Dan? I got a mango juice drink by Blue Monkey Sparkling uh, Costco Special. Cool, all right, well let's <laughs> cheers to that. Cheers to yeah. the Cory. To Officer Ted may not end up dead. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully this time. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this time. I was really disappointed he died last time. So if you guys haven't watched my original playthrough, this is my second playthrough. Um, so it's going to be different. If you haven't watched my first playthrough, go back watch it. It's pretty interesting. Um, so there will be spoilers. We'll probably be t we'll probably be talking about spoilers throughout the game. So if you don't want us to spoil the game for you, go back and watch my original playthrough of the Cory. So let's get this started appropriately. Oh yeah. Go ahead and give us a roll, Dan. A nine. Yes. Which is hot. I have to eat seven hots and Dan has to eat two hots. We don't have a hot counter, but that's okay. So. You gonna spin for us? All right. It's on its way. Cayenne. It looks like Cayenne. Yep. So uh, Dan gets two. Count for Dan. Here we go. Ready? One. Two. There's yours, Dan. Uno and dos. We'll eat them at the same time. Let me get mine. If I can find two Cayennes. How many is that? Seven. There we go. One. Two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, and last but not least, seven. Seven, and Dan, I got seven in my hand, right? That's a lucky number there. Oh boy, ready? Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, you fellas, excuse me, I gotta use the phone. Uh, Enjoy your meal, guys. So Cayenne's like right in the middle. It's got that nice slow warm up to it, yeah. So, the Carolina Reapers, if we get those, <clears throat> they're not very hot right off the bat. But then you're like, oh my god, my face is burning off. <laughs> Alright, guys. The bad thing about having seven jelly beans in my mouth is it takes forever to chew the damn things up. <laughs> Hey, you made the dice rules, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing by my regular rules. Dan's a newbie today. We're gonna we're gonna torture him a little bit. Uh, for those of you joining us for the first time, you'll see counters at the top of my screen. I normally have a hot counter and a sour counter. Today we're not doing those, but we are doing good and bad. So I do uh, these bean boozled, bean boozled jelly beans, and they have. Um, all kinds of nasty flavors on there. So the good are for the good jelly beans, the bad are for the bad jelly beans. I am on the red side, and Dan is on the blue side. So we're going to count those up. 
We got our Iron Maiden swag today up the irons. Both of us went to see Maiden this month, this year. Pretty epic. We'll probably talk about that too. But yeah. Definitely one of those shows you don't forget after you're done. Absolutely. And I've been to a lot of concerts. I've been to a lot of concerts. You just you don't you don't see concerts like Maiden. No. Check this out. So we, unlo we unlocked the Death Rewind feature. This feature allows us to three opportunities within a single playthrough to reverse playable character's death and try Ooh. to save them again. Ooh. So if we screw up, we can fix it. At the cost of a bean boozle. Oh, oh, oh. Let's gonna, make that interesting. He's going to throw it out there. <laughs> I like it. I like the way this guy thinks. Yes, we're going to enable it. Okay, so we can change that. We are going to go with a new game. Hold on. We're going to, sorry, movie mode. Nope. Couch co-op. That's what we want. Yeah. That's what we want. Okay, so I, I think player one starts the game. I think so Dan's going to be player one this time. And I'll be player number two. Ready player one. <laughs> exactly. That's a good, good, good game. Let's see if I can change these here. Hey, no, wait. My bad. Can I change that? Doesn't look like I can change that. Remove. Oh, so we're adding. Gotcha. So yeah, it looks like we gotta use the shoulder buttons to toggle through and see That's which what characters we're So doing. Dan's player one, we just have to remember who's player one, player two. So uh, you want Laura down? Yeah, I'll take Laura. Oh, you're gonna give me the jackass. Discount As Ashton Kutcher? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I'll be Jackass JJ. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm I am gonna I am gonna veto and say I'm taking my own name for this game. Fair enough. Okay, Dan, who you want next? I'll take Discount Action Coach. <laughs> That's good. In that case, I'm gonna take Emma. All right. Who we got left? Dylan. We got Dylan and Abigail. Abigail. Oh, let's go. I'll go Abby. Abby's cool. I like Abby. I guess I'll take Ash. I mean, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> and then there, there is there is an, a possibility that, that doesn't happen in the game. So, who do we have less? Nick and Caitlin. I'm taking Caitlin. Sorry. Uh, okay. I, I got a bit of a crush on Caitlin. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I can't say that about Nick, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> All right, welcome to Hackett's Cory, everybody. Dan, you're starting this off. All right. Yes, I am ready. Red Eye Jedi. You like Conan O'Brien and Clueless Gamer already. <laughs> so it's interesting that this game has two separate scores. They have like the copyrighted copyrighted version and the non, the stream version. This is the stream version. Interesting. Yeah. For those of you who want to stream the game and not get flagged, it's kind of nice. Super massive is pretty amazing. Right? Ted Raimi! Out of all the games they've put out so far, even with the uh, dark pictures, this is one felt to me like the closest experience to Until Dawn oh, since they made Until Dawn. Oh, absolutely. In fact, I felt like the uh, the creatures in this game were very much like the Wendigos in Until Dawn. Very much so. Ooh, crank up that banger. <laughs> It is, it is the stream version, man. We could, we could, we could, we could switch up, flip the script, play our own music. Right now. <laughs> Little Fear of the Dark. Dan's got the Fear of the Dark swag on right now. Very appropriate. <laughs> also goes very well with the blue counters up there. I did not plan that. <laughs> I did not freaking plan that.
definitely Evil Dead vibes from that. Just, I love that so much. It's got Ted Raimi in it. It's got to have some references, and it does. I love this game. The chase camera is just so iconic. Oh, yeah. The Ramo cam, as they call it. <laughs> the only disappointing thing is you don't get to see Bruce Campbell covered in viscous anything. It's just, uh, just a small bit down that way. All right, here we got some... Dan's going to the tutorial section here. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Love. Lesbians? No. Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, Random. so, lost. That's debatable. Max reminds me of discount oh, James McAvoy. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Nope. Oh, we got, we got a miss already. Let's catch there, hon. I'm not the one who hit the pothole. Oh! <laughs> well, maybe the pothole hit us. Ever think about that? Wow, that is like Olympic level goalpost moving. Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. Yeah, still totally lost. <sighs> you know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gone lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Thank you, public education system. I think we're gonna pick the leaflet. Were there any directions on the flyer? No, just a fake bunch of kids faking it around a fake fire pit. Checks out. Everything okay? Yeah, all good. I'm gonna try not to uh, <coughs> influence your decisions. I do, hey, I do eyes know on the road, ones. mister. <laughs> His brakes are shot. It took him that long to stop? I mean, it was muddy. We're <laughs> feeling a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice her the first time either. Yeah. yeah. I like it, girl. Still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Lou, oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. I think Max is a triple-A mechanic. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is? Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Try not to influence your decisions. I just happen to know which ones you're supposed to do. <laughs> I, I kind of looked it up a little bit because I wanted to see what I did wrong, sort of. Rejected. You yes. did not get into college. Hence the Columbus misunderstanding <laughs> there in the beginning. Poor guy, he would have made a great mechanic. Thanks, huh? Yeah. Now those dreams are gone. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. 
Here you go. Perfect, thank you. Well, the voice actor. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of they a big old really fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space eater. Well, anywhere's better than here. All right, you're walking. I don't like these woods anymore. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. <laughs> God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah. That is. They could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. Luck with the car. I can see clearly now. Nope, the rain, it's still raining. <laughs> Scare him. Sideshow. Spectacular. I think they use the word harem. Because <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> it's a scarum. So a little confession, guys. When I played this the first time, I had problems with the game. I had to go back. I had to go back and replay it. I don't know if you guys, if you, if you remember that down, I had to replay a whole bunch. Yeah, Because yeah. there was a lot of, uh, was it frame drops or something was yeah, kind of going on? Was bad, yeah. Silence. I'll swallow your soul. I'll swallow your soul. Let's just keep going in the woods. Nothing creepy about this as well. I think it's fine. Lady was a librarian because she keeps asking for silence. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> it's like the librarian in Ghostbusters. Didn't you watch that? Get her, go get her, Ray. <laughs> get her? Get her. <laughs> that's the best you could come up with. Oh, <laughs> uh, we missed it. How do we? There's a clue we missed. Hello. Where are you? to ruin everything. Ready for the quick time. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? There's something out there. Like I was, there 
There's noises all around me. Honey, 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 take a breath. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave, please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. You all right? Just a yes, audio. there we go. That's Burn funny. like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you gonna be fucking kidding me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Laura, man! Alright, you're not helping right now. Can you just. I am trying to get us out of here. All right, it reminds me of the new drivers up in our Shit, neck of the woods sorry, when they encounter snow for I'm the sorry. first time. <laughs> okay, it's okay. <laughs> what is this white stuff? We're okay. Push gas pedal down. We're safe harder. in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh! Fuck! Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Dead! Roll it down. Hi, officer. <laughs> How are you doing this evening? The true hero of the story. Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Oh, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Yeah, um... I'm not gonna, we, uh, I'm not gonna tell you. Uh, something <laughs> jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and... You now here we are. Something jumped out? I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark, and it happened so fast, and they were gone. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this guy like... The all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> not creepy. He's just doing his job. I mean, he is a little bit creepy. <laughs> now, you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night? It's Ted, man. Friendly. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. Yep. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not going to make it to Hackett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. I think the nearest place listen. you can bunk up there for the night. Okay? Ah. <laughs> uh. I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll head to the motel. Understood. After we... uh, there's just one small problem. Uh... I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost. Completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um. I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay? Uh, for sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> out of 10 acting from Ted. Of course. 
amazing. He's a Ramy. What do you expect? Okay. So we. Right about here, Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? <laughs> I got well, you, sucker. I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Yeah. Forgot somebody whispered Silas in her ear tonight. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she's just going crazy. Harbinger Motel. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we got it. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. I was super excited to hear that Ted was in this game when I first when I first heard the announcement of it. I was like, "You freaking got to kidding me!" Man, that David Arquette too. I was kind of I know, right? Crazy. Yeah. Why is this guy just sitting there? Freaking a list of actors, man. Except for a couple. <laughs> Noid or relieved. That guy was giving me major weirdo vibes. The dude needed like at least a dozen shots. Oh my god, I know. What was that? What <laughs> thing? Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, my God. oh man. <sighs> All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know, I kind of tricked him into showing you. <laughs> Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? I think that's enough no, creep-ass. That yeah. <laughs> Let's hit the road, shall we? <laughs> creep-ass words for you, ma'am. Maybe oh it's smart. God. They could have ended up in if the hotel from the other place. If he told me, ma'am, one room. more time, I'm just going <laughs> to shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I've got like 20 years before I'm a man. Mm-hmm. What? I, 20 is debatable. Easy. <laughs> I mean, I've got in the maps. Okay, we're done. <laughs> yeah, the actor that plays Max is on a TV show called, um, oh gosh, it's Drew Barrymore, freaking, um, the zombie one. It's on Netflix, can't remember the name of it. You gotta be kidding me. There's Santa, nobody here. Santa we Clarita tried all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. She uses that Colgate with uh, charcoal. I Hello? Think, whitening for the teeth. I guess he doesn't <laughs> check his voice. Man. How was I supposed to know that? <laughs> I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll beat no. the car. See, we know who that is. Max. Right? Come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So obviously Chris is here. I mean, that's who that is. Obviously. But it's like, let's try the door. There will be spoilers, people. Just gonna warn you. <laughs> is anybody home? I kind of love the homage to Until Dawn's Cabin here. Oh, absolutely. It's it's like almost a duplicate. Damn it. Absolutely. I think you're spot on though. Like this this game is very much reflective of Until Dawn in so many ways. It did such a great job. I was really pleased with this game when I played through the first time. Just uh, less windigos. <laughs> less windigos and more other things that <clears throat> <laughs> That almost looked like the Wendigos. The only thing you're missing is Rami Malik again. That would have been kind of cool if they had him. Right? Right? I, I that that was that was great. You played a great crazy guy. 
<laughs> yeah, that whole scene where he goes nuts is absolutely iconic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> makes you appreciate his acting ability 100%. Well, or it makes you question his sanity because he might actually be crazy. <laughs> well, we can't get in the building. Doors have thwarted us. We're playing Dungeons and Dragons, apparently. I guess we're just going to have to head back. Oh, but look, there's a shiny object. Max, you want to go to the tavern? That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> Tree house. Jetty. Hotels. Dark car park. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Is that on there? And it's Kelly Clarkston. Right? <laughs> what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Stand a little taller. <laughs> you wanna know you wanna know what Val Kilmer would say? This is what Val Kilmer would say to that. Bullshit. <laughs> in the editing. <laughs> hey, you ready to roll? Post editing. <laughs> Yeah, get back in the car. Get the out of here. Yeah, let's let's take the National Lampoon's wagon and let's go on a trip to Wally World. Let's go. Sounds like a great vacation. <laughs> or not. We can go and just... What is it with people that go and break and enter and do stuff they shouldn't do? Darn video game developers and their yellow doors. There's subtle color indications. There's subtle... Hey, you hey over guess here. what? That's where you need to be? Yeah. <laughs> They need to put another one that says, Hey, dumbass, <laughs> turn around and go home. Here's your side. Hey! Hey, are you okay? Seems really bright to me. Is it bright to you? I'll seems be right like back. I'm gonna get some help. Seems like it's all right. I mean, I don't know. I always play a little Max. brighter. YouTube Max, get over here. Darker. What's going on? Yeah. There's I've, somebody I've found... in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the law. Well, it taints your mom. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. <laughs> Why didn't you just bring... The... I love that. Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. I mean, I if the roles were reversed, it might have been kind of the same outcome, so... It's one of those things. She's probably the better mechanic, honestly. I mean, he flunked. He's out. There, there was definitely someone there. <laughs> okay. She wears okay. a pink hat, so. though, so I don't think so. <laughs> oh, we're we're going, like, yeah. We did Hammer time. We did wrenches sure? last time. Gonna be super I think we're going to do the hammer. <laughs> but someone's Except trapped. Someone's trapped. Hammer time. Hammer time. That's what I was thinking. I wish that's how my master lock yeah. came out. <laughs> I guess that one's not built as well. <laughs> it's not a master lock. It's a wannabe master lock. Dude, that was a BIM for 9,000 hammer. Did you see that? She said it was MC hammer. Did you hear it was hammer time? <laughs> You've seen the evil dad, right? Love that reference. Hello? Oh, smile your soul. Smile a bit. <laughs> Are you hurt? Do you exist? Now they're playing Phasmophobia. <laughs> hey, be careful. Another great game. I've never seen that. I have. I haven't gotten much into that game. It's better with more people. Ian. Ian. Ian what? <laughs> Yet again, just like uh, Devil Within, we've got a couple people that are just blatantly trespassing. Stupid ass people. Breaking and entering. I love it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Ah, he was just enjoying Max? his man witch. Our friend here enjoying her man witch. sure was a man witch? <laughs> Mayhaps. Well, nothing to see here. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. <laughs> that hey, line. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... Oh, okay. Max? That was a jump scare for me, man. <laughs> Max! Get her! Dude, cardio. <laughs> Rule number one. <laughs> Rule number one. Cardio. Guess what? Help. Oh. I think I'm bleeding a lot. Way to be supportive, man. I mean, he's got the ring necklace thing going on. Just like Nathan Drake, I can't leave a fellow explorer behind. good just really good pacing right off the get yeah that's the one thing the difference between this and like the dark pictures series the dark picture series are great it's done by supermassive which i'm playing right now if you are watching playing uh the devil in me it's uh a good game but it's so slow paced at the beginning a lot of character development story development it's just really slow this however right off the bat that's why I like this one very similar to uh, Until Dawn. Just, just great. Such a great game. Thanks, Dan, for getting me into these. Yeah. A lot of good memories. We'll talk about that as we go, I'm sure. For sure. <laughs> Especially if we kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it all. you and I kind of talked about the Telltale series first, and then until dawn was the first one that was like a telltale series but strictly horror right this one was awesome we'll talk about that too a bit for sure telltale hello my friend welcome to the show we are friends That's aren't we That's the lady. i've waited for you i've waited yes you got a lazy eye. so i do hope our time together proves enlightening kind of reminds me of somebody i know <laughs> There's no need to worry. No names mentioned. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can't unsee it. I can. Help you. We can help each other. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. Yeah, Dan, you didn't you find need to anything. Look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. You need laser. Search harder. Only you can find them. <laughs> there are secrets out there, you know. 
secrets and lies, paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. Mm, lady, you're paler remember, than me. Kind of. What doesn't kill you <laughs> will make you stronger. You want to know? It's Kelly Clarkston. I got it. You want to know what Bruce would say to her? This is what Bruce would say to her right here. Lady, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave the store. Exactly. Jackass. That's you. All right. So we're going to push pause for two seconds. Um, go ahead and push ready. Yeah. And then pause it. Will do. Just go ahead and pause it. Boom. Oh, that's a look at that mug. <laughs> Jackass. <laughs> All right. We're going to stop for just a minute and do this because it's been a bit. Give us a roll, Dan. Dice, the, the dice roll an eight. As we lose one, to the floor. Oh, there we go. I'm I'm demanding a re-roll <laughs> on that one. That works. All right, three. That works. I am not doing a hot two times in a row. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you spin for this. Uh, we'll go you with you. Me? Yeah, yeah. We'll alternate here. Uh, that's. Does that look like a line to you? That yeah, that's kind of. It's a split. I'm just, look at that. That's twice. <laughs> Although that was more like this. So I'm going to go with this one. So Dan and I are both eating the same jelly bean. All right. Before we eat this, this one is peach or barf. Ready? Here we go. Of course. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I'm not a beverage man, this sucks. Oh. Mine tastes like fettuccine. <laughs> what kind of friggin' fettuccine do you eat? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. <laughs> oh, horrible. I don't have any drink, man. Oh. Yeah, that needed a good wash down after that. I don't have a wash down. <laughs> All right, well, so I covered mine up with chocolate. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> it's like barf flavored chocolate. Okay, so we're gonna up do the we're gonna do the counters here. This will be one for Dan and one for me. We both got delightful. Mmm, peach or black. <laughs> I still want to know who uh, quality assurance is for those. I was just going to freaking say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You get to eat the real barf and tell me if it tastes like the real fake barf. <laughs> what I want to freaking know is what the hell do they put in it to make it taste like barf? <laughs> is it actually barf? Okay, Jacob. All right. And so it begins. Oh, here we go. I can't believe I freaking jump scared, man, already. Jumpy is <laughs> all hell. I know it's pretty cuffy, isn't it? Another banger. Thank you, Stream Edition. It's not as good as the regular edition. <laughs> I think it's cool that they actually give you that option, though. That's, yeah. I noticed a lot more um, games that are technically popular in streaming are doing that for the content creators because DMCA is a real thing. Yeah. And people hate dealing with it. Real so. pain in the ass is what it is. <laughs> now, as far as the darkness goes, uh, even with like I play Dying Light Two, I'm always cranking mine at least two or three notches up above what they recommend because it just never seems to be quite right. Right? Ladies, peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack it's quiet forever. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I, too, brush with Colgate. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance <laughs> apocalypse. Charcoal edition. <laughs> Cynical or reflective? Oh, let's make this guy more reflective. Hmm. Hmm? I mean, you never know. Mm -hmm. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me? Okay, spell it. Nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. 
So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> okay, quit it. Well, when you try to talk Hi, like a, a hey. mobster from Chicago, <laughs> I mean... Okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. All right, Jack. I mean, Jacob. <laughs> I'm a spelter. He, he's actually probably my least favorite character in this game, honestly. I can't stand Jacob. The other ones are fun. I mean, he's kind of funny, but he's just a freaking... He's such a freaking dork. Hey, buddy. I, I've seen those doors before. Have you seen those doors before? No. First time. <clears throat> <laughs> it's just me. Hey, what do you uh, what do you listen to? Do they put a better master lock on this time? Good to know. Is there a lock on it this time? Oh no! Don't turn around. Discount ass. Come on! Don't turn discount around. Ashton. Turn around, bud. Little ace of base going on. There's no lock. Hmm. That's sus. Highly sus. I thought he was gonna go full Steve Jobs on him and ask him about his AirPods. How they were working out for him. <laughs> I'm not an iPhone user. Regrettably, I have succumbed to the Apple brand. I'm still on the Android. <laughs> Half of my family's iPod. We're, Jake, we're split. Bags. We're hybrids. Focus. Okay, I'm focusing. I'm focusing. Probably just not in... I'm focusing on her. She, I have a little bit of a crusher on her. C Caitlin's my 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 uh, my Corey crush. I'm just saying. All right, so let's go checking up here. Hey, it's a really nice cabin. I bet I can't interact with the doors yet. Oh, but I bet you. I bet you. I bet you. Oh, wait. Oh wait. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Come on, you being the master of unlocking. Hey, oh, he are did you it. Guys gonna help with the bags or what? <laughs> oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags what's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, please. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. I would have done the same thing. <laughs> I was just gonna say, if all Laura had to do was knock on the door, she missed a golden opportunity. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Dipshit's yeah. bolted it? Really? No, you just didn't put all your weight into it, <laughs> dude. <laughs> so the thing about this game and these games is the more you explore, the better off. And I, I, I told you to go the wrong way in the beginning because there is a, there is a card at the beginning, these tarot cards. It's all good. Um, and there's actually a, a thing that you find in the beginning that says, uh, it's like a... The, a, a Creep show, sideshow thing that says like the wolf boy or something like that. And so. Established 1953. It's old. Circa the 50s. That's like Elvis old, man. That's pre Cold War there. Yes, use the force, Jacob. Although he doesn't have much force. Skill. <sighs> yep, Laura didn't possess that skill either. Checking the window. So, so the thing, <laughs> the, the thing too, it's about this. You'll notice those tarot cards. They they appear like split second. So Ugh. as soon as you see one, you got to push A. I hate one. horror. Because you're a pansy ass. No. Yeah, okay. So he's immediately not my favorite person. I don't like horror. Come on. <laughs> You're in the wrong game, bro. <laughs> That's what I said the first time I played it. You're screwed. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. You know what? I think he's even offended by the books. Is this fixed view? I can't remember. Yeah, it looks like it is. It's got a little, uh, little Resident Evil going on here where the camera's switching based on how you're moving through. I noticed uh, a lot of the newer quarry games aren't that way, though. You can actually kind of pan around your character more freely. 
I you, guess I can use in still some areas. I was gonna say, some areas, yeah, you can. Okay. I recant that last statement. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's like half and half anyway. Whatever you do, don't grab the bag at the bottom of the stairs yet. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely checking around. Hey, hey, ours face. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone, sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! <laughs> Great interaction. Love it. <laughs> this guy just has founts of knowledge to bestow upon us as observers. <laughs> oh, hey, what's that? It's a door. It's a door, Dan. <laughs> Is oh. that you, Dylan? Hey. I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, there goes our theory about doors opening the knocks, so... <laughs> Shot that one right down. 60% of the time, it works every time. I could have swore there was a tarot card in here, but I could be wrong. Let's see here. Oh, maybe over here by the fireplace. Well, they, they don't act, you don't actually pick them up. They just appear like somewhere in the shot, and you, you have to push A before they disappear. Yeah, this place needs a serious overhaul. It's kind of weird. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. He's such a wuss, dude. Yeah, you'll just be walking along and you'll see it. And it'll have it like down where our faces are. Mm -hmm. Well, not, you can't see it, but for everybody else, down where our faces are, you'll see it, a little option that says A. So. People are probably going to be laughing at me. Like, you missed it. It was right there. I did. I missed a couple. When I heard the first the little, first little section of the game, I totally freaking missed them. Missed them. There is one in here somewhere. I, I, I it's been a while. I played this back in June when it came out or May. Um, <laughs> fantastic game. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna grab some bags. I think we've kind of canvassed the area pretty I, well. I'm pretty sure you're good, dude. All right. Just be ready at any time. <clears throat> Trigger finger. Say we're just gonna the East Ventura it, if not. Like, oh, it was right there. Can I do it one more time? <laughs> <laughs> Can't play that one back. <laughs> the rewind's only for deaths. It was right there. Can I do it one more time? <laughs> All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. <laughs> Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my God, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, That's why okay, I love her. here we go. So okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we. Oh were. no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. She. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, she, she the like, sailing instructor with the too. sexy brooding loner like thing this. that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. <laughs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. And Her whole thing right is like, how are we going to make this work? <laughs> Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, yeah, huh? Yes. Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? I have an idea. Well, I'll tell you how, Shane. <laughs> 
No, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a b stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, <laughs> visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. She my financial kind of advisor. She's got it all figured out. Oh, I'm, shit. I'm sorry. I'm that telling was you, dude. Me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says roadhead. <laughs> oh, actually, that's just a generic online list. <laughs> hey, come on, man. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. <laughs> hey, shut up. Shane, <laughs> kind of love her. <laughs> shut up, I'll get my posse over uh, here, Shane. Okay, so, um... <laughs> Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van Which so we'd have are. to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know. Bad idea. Rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and Which what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Where's Laura? She could help with this. You do realize that oh, Max. even if we somehow did get stuck <laughs> no, he, out here... No, he flunked out of college. We established Emma, Laura's the better mechanic. She used Trust the me. hammer. Chicks made up her mind. <laughs> he didn't even yeah. get into college. He was rejected. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. Poor guy. I guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> All right. Use the rotor, Mahuza what's it? You know, the thing that's rotary. <laughs> I love her definition. <laughs> Who says you can't use the word in the definition? Come on with me, buddy. Come on. I'll put you right back tomorrow. I'm not a word. I'm not a wordy phone. person either, so. Dan's one of these smart people. That's why we have Dan here. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to I'm something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 oh, Nick! No. <laughs> Boom. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, Freak. <laughs> Just kill him now, please. Oh. Somebody, somebody, oh. somebody. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. <laughs> freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. Oh, thank God. I'm going to get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is Somebody it? Somebody is really excited over having their cricket membership. You know, you did. should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? Oh, Ben. Oh, he's the other one I like. He's hilarious. <sighs> oh, let's see. That That is a devil's luck right there. He's got something. <laughs> Back he, off the shit. Constipated. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> peace and love, man. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Dude, my character's been roasted bounce. more times in the first opening portions of this game than any else? other character in any of the why, series. Why I've would seen I know that? Has ever been mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick. Just put him on the you're barbecue pit and let him go. And you're a super hot he's charred. Any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. That, that Keep might, dreaming, Junior. That might be an option, Dan. <laughs> I would not use a bean boozled on that one. <laughs> what? Oh, right. Okay. That conscience thing. Are you still playing? Dude. Okay, babe. Okay, okay. You know what this means? Yeah. Character change. You know what a character change means? Oh, yeah. Give us a roll, Dan. All right. Five. Uh, what did we Harry Potter? We're doing Harry Potter this time. Harry Potter. Okay. So the thing is, with these, is that I've explained to this this to you guys before. Each each color. I'm gonna put them in this lid, so we have a little bit better chance of getting variety. Each color on these um, has its own flavor. There's not multi flavored, so. Uh, this is one of those things where we're we're going to pick blindly out of this out of this 
box, this container, show it to you like this and eat it. And then you can try to guess what it is and whether you think it's bad or good. All right, Dan. All right. Grab one. Look away. Show it. Whatever that is. Oh, what I have no idea. Ready? Three, two, one. Um, actually, no, that's pretty good. What'd you get? I'm, I'm guessing it was toothpaste. Yeah, there's one on there that's like... Kind of fruity, but it's got a little mint to it. It's like tutti fruity. Yeah, like maybe that's what it is. Like I think tutti you got tutti fruity. fruity. Mine was uh, most definitely banana. Whoa. That was close. <laughs> so let's go good. All right. Good on mine. Or yours. And good on mine. <laughs> it's backwards. Boom. Lock it in. We're all we're all we're all ones all the way across. All right, Abby. So there's definitely some stuff you want to look for in this. All right. Well, seeing as this is the spoiler filled, we can probably do a little bit of team teamwork here and see if we can find some stuff. I just I don't want to spoil. I just I still want to have fun. But oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, look at Abby, Abby's not a bad little artiste. I mean, if we're gunning for tarot cards, maybe we can just like do something like that. So if there's a tarot card somewhere in here. That's the problem. I don't remember where they're at. <laughs> Decision-wise, I kind of know because hey, I made all the wrong bear. ones. <laughs> Status report. We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Up. Oh. Oh, too oh. slow. Really? Oh, boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? That was my bad. Let's go collect our bags and away Love from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Okay, so when it's the square, Doors icon, locked, it's bags it's, inside. It was back to the keyboard setting. Oh, that's why. Yeah, so it was, yep. That was my bad. Well, I screwed it all up. That's what we have to do here. Find someone with a key. Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. If if hold the phone, not timed. If you decide to break in, I think it prevents something from happening. But, so in the original, Dylan gets his hand sawed off, my yes. original playthrough. If you break in, that's what causes that. I see. Okay. I think if you want to go ahead and do it, I say I say you leave it because it's freaking Bruce Campbell moment. Yeah. Are you serious? Well, that's actually, let's try the lead bags and, and we'll see if it actually no, that's called triggers a different our lawfully like, uh, possessions. Right here. Why don't we just find it Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Abby, come on! Our stuff is like three feet away. Experimentation. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Campbell Hackett moment. and have yeah. him help us get our bags. Fine. Come on. Okay. Well. Well, fine. I'm just going to do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. So we chose not to break in? Yeah. Okay, we left the bags. Just, just to kind of... We'll see what happens here. We'll see what branching path we got now. Yeah, that could be bad. But it could be good. I don't know. I don't know that choice. Now let's go over to the boathouse. I see. Ah! <laughs> it's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Hello, Night City! <laughs> Why would you see that? Oh, was the lady there? She was in the window. I just, I love how they hey! do that. You stop that! I mean, we've noticed it a few different times in um, the dark pictures where the curators kind of popping in and out yep. in scenes yep. during the stories. Well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a. Uh, I was surprised. I was surprised. He texted me like, hey, check out this timestamp. I'm like, what the actual fuck? 
<laughs> clearly, clear as day, he's sitting, standing there. I'm like, how did I miss that? Freaking s sketchy shit. Alright. Nothing to see here. Just yeah. radio equipment and a creepy lady staring at us. I want to say in the tree, there's something. Okay. And then there's something else by one of the, one of the cabins, I think. The problem is, I don't... Yeah, I can't remember. Hopefully that didn't affect us too much, but... Yeah, no. Oh, yep, right there. What we got? Ouch. Summer. So Jacob <laughs> hasn't seen this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smells like poop. Ew, what is that? <laughs> is it Dylan's? <laughs> it's like burning. Um. It's <laughs> like burning. We've got, we've got your, uh. I love those signs. Traditional. Oh, Tokyo's that way. Dang. I need to go to Tokyo. You're gonna be swimming, dude. <laughs> <laughs> If you could run fast enough to run across the ocean, then you know you could have long-distance runner plane in back on behind you and make it there in a good time. <laughs> so, if you guys didn't know, we might both just be maiden fans just a little bit. We both went to the show this year. Shout out to Brian and his favorite song, "Run to the Hills." <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we know how much he loves that one. <laughs> no, it was a great time. Almost, almost as almost as much as my friend John Heinlein loves uh, hooks in you. <laughs> nope, okay. That is clearly where we want to go. Oh, that, so. That's yeah, that's it. That yeah, was an epic show, man. <sighs> Where's our sprint button? <laughs> Not in this game. I swear, like these. Uh, Walking simulator moments. They could just give you just a little bit more frame rate. Well, that's why we're talking. <laughs> we're, we're filling space right now. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Dan's first time to see Iron Maiden this time. My second time. Bucket list item for sure. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's anything that compares to being at a Maiden concert. No. I mean, I've been to a lot of concerts. Visually, uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra is pretty freaking awesome. They're close, but I don't think they really capture the magic that Maiden has not, with not, their audience. Not quite. They're not they're not as experienced, truthfully. Maiden's been around. As as Bruce says, the theater the theater theater of the mind. I think that's what he calls it. It's really it's really just like a uh, a play to him. Like, Dylan is not gonna be happy that the kids just like this one. Tell Chris about it when we see him. I used to have, I used to have one of those, by the way, <laughs> just like that. Next up, your favorite hit on the top forty, whatever the hell that was. <laughs> it's called. Uh, dying, it was a dying battery. <laughs> also reminds me of the, uh, the non-party person that uh, you mentioned earlier with the lazy eye. <laughs> what? <laughs> smells like sick water. <laughs> uh, little personal jokes. You won't understand. We worked together for a small period of time. Yeah, how long was that? 2000, like, 2004 to like 2012, eight years or something like that? Ready to roll? Seven, at least, yeah. Yeah, this guy, this guy had to put up with me for, for that long. <laughs> well, there's lots of stuff. It was, Let's do it! It was a great job Final. for a long time, and then it became a not-so-great job after some changes, so... <laughs> hey, but we've both moved on. Dan, time to let loose and vamoose. Hold, hold that thought. 
How are you so... Dramatic. Annoying. <laughs> Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. <laughs> so you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself. She fakes but it. But louder. <laughs> she fakes it all the time with Jacob. You should try it sometime. <laughs> you never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Uh-oh. I just appreciate the... Uh... <gasps> Oh, wow! Oh. Nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Jinkies? Is that a okay, Scooby-Doo so reference? Hypothetically, Absolutely. if I were to put Absolutely. myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually Whoa. really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But... That's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? <laughs> You've got mail. I'm really going to miss you, Abby. AOL. <laughs> You're too young to know that, Dan. You've got mail. I'm oh, hold on. I was around that time. Oh, but the that lodge is cool. that way. Go right here. Why? Come on. Scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Yeah, do it, do it, do it. I remember when a 28 8K modem was screaming. Oh, fast. come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's let's take the scenic route. Of course. Oh, you pretty titty bang bang. Titty. Sure, what's the victory? <laughs> Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. I mean, it even says scenic route right there. How could you say no to that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I'm sure that's what they watch your channel I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be, like, really happy or rock. Let's plug for Miss Emma. Please like, share, and subscribe. Ring the bell. Get notified. My favorite spot. <laughs> the fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is is that smoke? On the water? Should we tell someone? <laughs> mm, it <laughs> looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before... You know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. This is why wildfire season. Speaking of which, Northwest we should we should probably yeah you know, get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's you know Only when without you. Well, no, they're probably fires. like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All everyone, same. Now we took the scenic route. Who that? They're just drunk. Look at that. See? Oh, I'm looking up at this guy. They're just like, oh, whatever. A couple kids. In a oh, Dylan. And that we've got a me. character change. Oh, a character change. You know what that means. It's dialing. It's dialing it in. It's a roll dice. You got a dice roll. I got a four. Okay, doke. That is a regular Jelly Belly. Oh, goody gumdrops. That is this flavor. Which I... This isn't that... This one isn't that bad. So we rolled a regular and we spun a juicy pear or booger. And I'm doing this beverageless, guys, because I am out of beverage. There you go. You ready? Yep. Oh, my God. Yep. I am in the same boat as you. <laughs> How is this a 50-50 split? It's not. <laughs> it is and we're 100% bad. Uh, one bad for you. <laughs> and oh my god. <laughs> I have no drinking. Where's my damn chocolate? 
Thank you, Jelly Belly Company, for making the most tasty. <laughs> Horrible jelly beans at the same time. I mean, what do they think we are? Toddlers like to eat boogers? Man, what? Ugh. I'm just saying, how do they know it tastes right? <laughs> All right. They suckered in a bunch of kids. Be their <laughs> taste testers. That's it. That tastes great. They don't know any different. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. Alex, <laughs> not even phone chargers anymore. Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Darn Welsh. Let's go. <laughs> where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why? To keep out bears? Apparently. Hmm. Well, why didn't you just break in. Okay, because Dylan thinks that would have been a good idea that confirms we did the right thing. Oof. Ow. I like my ideas. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. Exactly your personality. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was <laughs> listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Mm. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about <laughs> you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called <laughs> How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> uh, it's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around in the textbook of stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways. Hagger, Those Hagger are two drastically different outcomes. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Oh, yeah? You got a cooler one? Oh, no. I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really facial expression tell it right. Was that Look, no, no. <laughs> seriously, dude. I think it just it came out wrong. You got to be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Hey, 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 hey. I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Coulda woulda if our bags weren't locked up. What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about the, ghost the stories? H of H's Q. I need to see more butts. The Hag of Hackett's quarry. I was just... <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan... Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? 
Well, yes, I do. Well, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. <laughs> cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Oh, the world's best boss coffee mug he's got going on there. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's me. Another character swap. Ah, yes, I know what that <laughs> means. I didn't even think about that. All right, roll the dice, Dan. That is a four. Regular. We have dodged the hot yet again. Hmm. Ooh, yay. My, I don't like this one. Ooh. So this one we we spun is Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks. Oh, joy. Um, I'm not going to lie. I think as soon as we can get a break for me to get a beverage, I'm going to get one because I'm telling you. If this I need is, to re-up for sure. If this is going to be Stinky Socks... I'm not going to be a happy guy without any freaking beverage. I'm just saying. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, we got a good one. Well, you special. Damn it. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> and you got a good one? Yep. <laughs> that one was like one of the worst, man. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Rotten egg. I mean, that so, was bad. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a fish. moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, um, it's just, you know, about You're the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? so bad uh yeah what because kids are kids should only be so much your vote they're almost out of here all right you're cutting it pretty close we don't want to have just hold your damn horses all right everything's a-okay on this end bobby and i are geared up if he's in the area we'll get him. this is a waste of time you know what i know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. I gotta cover the flavor, man. Not bad. <laughs> Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. Uh, I mean, I, w I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. You're disappointing him, Ryan. Guess I'm one big disappointment. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. And then? Right. You, you know... Listen, uh, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? <laughs> oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Ryan, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. 
Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can't. I mean... Shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are gonna like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Sorry, I didn't realize it was <laughs> such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? <laughs> What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Negative. Good Not grief. Not in like I'm outgrowing my own Third, cliches. <laughs> Seriously, Chris, what's going on? <laughs> I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. And then... <laughs> Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Mostly how it said safety a lot. Just give me a minute. Safety Good first. goddamn, are they? Licorice? You like the goodies? No, not blue. Not black. Red licorice, though. I'm one of those people. We got oh, some. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. I will see him again next year. Really? Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. Just they both just come and go as they picture? please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. <sighs> Right where I left uh -huh. him. Uh -huh. Wow, how could you not say Let's that? Let's skedaddle. I'll say that uh, he was drinking his coffee not too long ago. <laughs> the keys were in there the whole time. I mean, <laughs> awfully dirty mug. World's best boss. Let's make sure they're steps. all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> he called him noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Burn. Good. Because <laughs> it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, I'm gonna have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, no, I am not leaving without- It's the way it's gotta be. Come on, Jacob, start her up. Well, you took the wind out of her sail. What's the problem? No problem! Ah, uh, gets flooded. Dude, just I don't know, I, I think there's something wrong with the engine this way. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like... kaput. Alright, let me try. What? Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Enough. Enough, both of you. <laughs> the problem is you're a douchebag. Come on, all right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. <sighs> Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Gee, I wonder what's wrong with the... Okay. 
Uh, okay. Uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Wow. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Ooh. Catch. Hey, Brian. I Come did, here for a I sec. Did, I did play baseball. <laughs> Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. <laughs> Can you promise me you'll do that? You know, if I didn't know that was David Arquette and that Ted Raimi was Ted Raimi... I would seriously consider them to be pretty close in facial features to be brothers. A little bit. A little bit. Maybe. Except, you know, our cat looked like he's got a bee sting going on on one cheek the way they rendered it. Well, he's filled in. <laughs> he's, he's filled in a little bit. He's kind of got like this Bill Pullman slash Sylvester Stallone look going on with the, work the crooked lip and everything. He's like, oh, yeah, I do it. <laughs> Compliant? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. Even though he literally just threw a hood down, screamed. <laughs> little, little hypocritical of him. <laughs> so, what was that about? He uh said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. <laughs> are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or. Or we could do something else. No, no. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. <laughs> P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Because I got it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? That's what mannequins are for. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> for me lately, yeah, jeez Louise. <laughs> freaking, both the last games I've been playing, Shadows Rose and the freaking one I'm playing now. Freaking damn mannequins. <laughs> it's been a joy and a pleasure. <laughs> to happens. watch you play. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Hmm. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, 
Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Good plan, great plan. Break. A rut row. What's the scope of the situation, people? <laughs> oh boy. That's not disturbing. <laughs> They're just getting their war paint on. That's what I was gonna say, man. Hey, didn't he work for uh, Bubble Gump <laughs> Shrimp Company? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. It looks like a Bubba. <laughs> Hunting season? No, it's Wabbit season. <laughs> Duck season. Wabbit season. It was a zombie? A rut row. You know what this means. Our good friend. You're I was hoping you'd again. come back to We me. missed our cards again. Let's see what you found. Nothing. Empty handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them. Please. Sorry, Mom. Forgot to look up the player's guide. <laughs> You'd better be going. All right. It's still All right. early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. You're lazy, I And look out for my cards. All I can say is, you probably should never give her any black paint. <laughs> Most likely not. Because <laughs> more than likely, she's going to paint stuff with that black paint <laughs> that should not be painted. Like shoes, and maybe like, I don't know, CDs, or hmm, what else? <laughs> I think we're going to take a short break because I need some beverage. But I'm going to torture myself <laughs> one more time before we take a break. Give us a roll, Dan. All right. We have a three. Oh, my goodness. Look at us. Rolling low today. That is a regular bean boozled. Oh, good gracious. I know what the flavor this is. This one. Okay, to end off this episode, we have got Strawberry Banana Smoothie or Dead Freaking Fish. Here we go. All right, let's do it. Of course. Yep, I do have the dead fish. Gosh dang it, man. <laughs> oh, one for you. <laughs> oh, one for me. Wow, that one really gets in there. <laughs> oh, dear God. The problem with these, some of these flavors, I've said this a hundred times, is that they don't freaking go away. Yeah. Why well, not just gets all up in there, don't it? In your sinuses. All right. We're going to take a short break. But we'll be right back to continue the adventure here at... Hack, it's Corey. All right. Let's take a break.
All right, everyone. So that is it for episode number one of the Corey Special Guest Edition. I'm so excited to be playing this game with my friend Dan. Um, means a lot to me. It's really super fun. We've been friends for quite a long time. But also he, like I said before, is the one responsible for getting me into this type of game. Super massive games. We have we both him and I played together. He introduced me to Until Dawn, and the very first game we ever played together, like this one was the first game of the Dark Pictures anthology, which is called Man of Badan. So um, anyway, Solo Sticks, signing out, guys, saying until next time, as I always say, keep it real. <laughs>